He's a beast when he's on that shit. Mm -hmm. But against Money Mayweather, he'll be nothing but a bitch. I mean, he's uh, nothing personally, Pacquiao. God bless you, the Filipinos. Phil Man, Filipinos got some of the best pussy I've ever had in my fucking life. <laughs> I love you fucking guys. Your food, the f every fucking thing. So don't come at me talking crazy. I love Filipinos, okay? I love the food. I can't speak much for the pussy. Yeah, man. well, no, the pussy's soft as cotton, dude. I don't. It's, it's softer than drugstore cotton. If you get the right piece. I'm mm -hmm. not talking about those ones you're pulling out of the fucking bar at fucking 4 in the morning. Oh, I'm I talking about special ones. Come one on. you actually got to take to dinner and, you know, take out a little bit and get a little movie and something, you know. Right, right. But, you know, and we had Todd. Todd I mean, Todd Kreitz, our producer, he's got a beautiful uh, Filipino. You nice know, he loves about, her. To, nice uh, thing about those Asian girls, they got real breasts, too. I mean, a lot of them, I mean, I never really see fake tits. They're fuck those. machines, and you got to love them for it. You know, one thing about me is, you know, they're built to fuck, and uh, they're built to last, just like my Rolls Royce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not real big on the fake tits. Oh, so. my God. But look, look at fuck the tits and all that. I, I want to get back to the point because I'm tired You can fuck of, the tits. Well, no, I will fuck the tits, but it's like you're, you're grabbing nipples. You're right, like right. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's really nothing there. They do. So Pirelli as a person, love him to death. One of the dumbest motherfucking businessmen in the fucking world. Put him on TV, blew him up, <laughs> was getting ready to make him money, take him to the next level. And he just uh, believed that he was the TV character uh, that I made him rather than in reality that... You know, he lives in Paula's third room making fucking $800 a week. But my point is, is, you know, I'm just trying to keep it real with people. You know, we're not, you didn't make 10 million fucking dollars this year. You didn't make a hundred million dollars. I mean, 800 fucking grand. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, but the wife thinks I only made 200. I'll make sure I delete that. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I keep getting prank calls from this guy, the Philly faggot. Uh, claims himself to be a, <laughs> a godfather, a Philly fucking faggot. The guy, I pulled him up on the internet. He looks like he has Down syndrome. The guy's in a room with about four or five guys writing about five, ten grand a week, acting like you're me. Listen, motherfucker, you're nothing like me, little dick. You're broke. You don't have any client base. You don't make fucking a hundred thousand dollars a week, and you drive a Honda Accord pitching out of a fucking one-bedroom apartment. You're a minnow. You're a fucking sweat on my nuts. Get off my nuts and tell your bitch to come here, would you? You're like <laughs> You're like a two-inch dick out of hip-hop porno. There's no need for you. No oh, my God. Skipper Brato. You're like a three-inch dick out of hip-hop porno. We ain't got no use for you, oh, motherfucker. Boy. <laughs> oh, my God. Look. You got to hear this part, guys. <laughs> Correctly, you don't pick the sport. The sport picks you. Listen to what we say. You listen to this, please. He couldn't even tell me. Watch, listen. Listen. He talks about. Listen to this. Oh, yeah, what'd you have? He doesn't know. We asked this guy what was his big basketball win on Saturday, and he says the over in the Towson State game. The only problem was there was no total hold on, against on the Towson Bethune, State. Hold on, against Bethune, yeah, Bethune Cookman. Yeah, Bethune Cookman and Towson State over the total, he said, was his big winner on Saturday. Only problem is there wasn't a line on that game anywhere in the world. Not in Vegas, not offshore. There was no total on that game anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what gives our industry a black fucking eye. These guys that fucking go and advertise on these fucking websites act like they're big shots and they don't have a fucking clue about sports. They don't Here's the bottom line, guys. If you want a motherfucker that's willing to go to war for you, I'm the guy. If you're, you're going to go to war with a bookie and you already have an Uzi, couldn't you use a tank? 
All I need is 1% of your trust and confidence. I guarantee you as a businessman as well as a gentleman, I'll earn the other 99%. There comes a time where you deserve to shine, ladies and gentlemen, and that time is fucking now. So I'm not going to sit here and let these other motherfucker imposers get on the fucking phone, telephone tough guys, act like they're millionaires, act like they're pitching in penthouses, acting like they got money when these are broke dick little motherfuckers. Man, they I can tell you just took a couple hits off that joint. And I'm feeling good. Whew. But I'm telling you right now, you are I'm the real fire. Well, I'm the real fucking deal. My mouthpiece is a fucking weapon. If you don't have any sales talent, if you're not willing to go out there and get the fucking job done, if you're not willing to paint your face and go to war, get the fuck out of the industry. And I'm telling every, I'm putting an APB out right now for every motherfucking sports service out there. If you think you're hard or you think you got something on me, you let me know. You come to my office. 4004 shift drive. At the end of the day, nobody's better than us. All you guys do is talk shit because you know you're not better than us. So bow down to somebody greater than you. Nobody does what we do. Nobody fights the way we do. No one deals with players, coaches, CEOs. So for you little fake motherfucking frauds out there with an the internet, taking a picture in front of Las Vegas, claiming to be a big willy, claiming to be a millionaire when you're living in your mom's fucking basement, wearing a pair of dirty ass fucking stinky shoes with a fucking Celtic tank top, the fuck out of here before you get the shit slapped out. You want some water, dude? Up, huh? You all right, man? No, man. All right, so they go to the locker room up 16 nothing thanks to the turnovers in the Should first half. Should have been 30 nothing. Absolutely. Should have just put him away in the first half. Blew him out. He had no fucking balls. You don't fucking come to the fucking playoff game and not bring your A game and everything you got. It's 21 gun salute when it comes down to the championship. This is what you get paid every fucking dollar for. This is what you're willing to cut your fucking finger off for. And this is what you get in the game and be willing to die for. Discount, yes, discount, double check. You better check your fucking nuts. Are you fucking kidding me? Grab your balls, bitch, and punch it in. You tell the fucking coach, fuck you, we're going for it. Unbelievable. You can't win a game with five fucking field goals. Oh, nope. hell no. Buddy, when it gets cold outside, it gets strong, and that's when I get real excited. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about my mouthpieces on fire today. I got a game tonight that's going <laughs> to... Oh, boy. <laughs> anyway, what do you think about the Grammys? Did you did you like them or what? I'm a big fan of uh, Ed Sheeran. I don't like the way he got snuffed. Uh, Ed Sheeran definitely took it in the behind. No, uh, he's got he's got a great album. What's Ex funny is the guy Sam Smith that won all the awards actually does take it in the behind. <laughs> <laughs> Which, hey, listen, doesn't make him a bad guy. You don't have to launder him I don't here. do it anymore. Ever since I had Dominic, you know, I don't gamble no more. I've turned into a complete yeah, fucking right. What do you mean? Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I'm done. Yeah, you're done. Buddy, I'm done. Like the you're, not talking, you're not talking to Kevin. I'm talking, what do you mean? You're talking, this is Skip over here. What, what do you mean? So when, when am I playing? Like if I'm Three o'clock in the morning, living, apparently. Well, yeah, that's when we go to a concert mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah, I'll admit to, uh, you didn't, know. Didn't you just tell me you dropped 34,000 uh, just like two days ago? Oh, buddy, you, you, I go 50, 60, 80, 100 at a time. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I said, you know. But you don't gamble anymore? No. Okay. It's called winning. <laughs> <laughs> Every damn day, I'm hungover as fuck. Uh, stress the fuck out. Tell these fucking people. Yeah, is it the, easy? It ain't easy, man. Like what? These guys are like, how come you like to our to our you know five little haters out there that are like, oh man, the show's canceled. If you can show me anywhere that our show was canceled, I'll suck your fucking dick. It was well before money talks. Long before the and, show. And, and we'll continue to make millions whether we had a TV show or not. That's what I want you guys in my industry who think you're comp competing with me. You guys that think you're, you you guys gotta understand we were making millions before we had the show. Once we did the show, that's what they call icing on the cake. Right. Yeah, I'm the number one Google person. I win more than everybody else. America knows who I am now, and you guys hate it because we're fucking doing it. We were the top sports advisors in the industry. Before the fucking show! Way before the show. For you. Well, he's becoming a woman. What right? the fuck is going on? Give me what? the one. What the fuck is going on with my life? Yeah, Bruce, what is going on with Bruce's life, Skip? What is going on with Bruce's life? Listen, let me give a shout out to you Kardashian girls. You are the ones that did that to him. I feel sorry for this guy. They sat there and watched you guys get pounded dick after dick. Oh. Dick after dick, surgery oh. after surgery. He had to listen to all your gossip. Listen to the mom. Tell him what to do. Oh. Surprise, he didn't blow his fucking brains out. Oh, my God. Fucking dirty bitch. <laughs> but uh, at the end of the day, the, Bruce's kids, Brody and his other, they're cool as fuck. Normal, like normal dudes. I feel sorry for him. I it's think the sons need to kidnap him, take him, yeah, and go a, fucking take yeah. him somewhere because right. he just has Kardashian itis. Right. When you watch your daughter take more balls oh. than Yogi Berra oh. off her chin over oh. the last fucking 10 years, oh. fuck, man. To you owners out there, you're not writing shit. You ain't writing more than $10,000. Come on, Stu. Come on. Come on, Bellamy. Come on, Jim Jim. Come on, Camacho. Come on, Adam Meyer in jail. Come on. None of you motherfuckers are writing numbers like we are. You understand that? No. Darren Otero, a.k.a. Steve Stevens, a.k.a. the bookie killer, a.k.a. winning more games than anybody in the fucking world.
along with my good pal, Big Skip. What's up, Skip? What's happening, people? A uh, AKA the chiropractor? I will straighten them the fuck out, Stevens. I can't be perfect every day. Nobody's 100%. We don't have the cure for cancer. We can't make your dick bigger, but we can make your bankroll bigger. And that's a fucking fact. If money's tight, things are rough, and your old lady's not good enough to sell her muff, then I'm that blessing in disguise that you've been waiting for. Gambling, sports betting is a $4 billion industry over the next 30 days. You deserve your fair fucking share. Don't you think there comes a time where you deserve your piece? Hell yeah. Aren't you tired of just getting a piece of the pie? Oh yeah. Don't you want the whole oh, yeah. fucking pie? Fuck a piece of the pie. Take the whole motherfucker home with you. Get save, hungry. Give your kids some, save some for later, put it in the freezer, fuck it. And I'm pissed off because my wonton soup sucked today for lunch. I mean, we're in China fucking town. How can I not get good wonton soup? That's what I said. I had to throw half that shit away. It, well, ta it tasted sour. It tasted like piss. Yeah, and I don't know what piss tastes like, but that's what it tasted like. Well, I, I had a guy tell me yesterday, uh, he signed up with some joke of a service. They won the first game out of the gate. They lost like four in a row after that. And uh, he called in the next day, and then someone else got on the phone and told him, oh, that guy don't work here anymore. We fired him because uh, he lost too many games. Come what on. A, what a fucking Come on. Joke. Stop buying into the Stop, bullshit. Save the fucking bullshit for someone else. You're all right coming from the trailer. Dressed like a sailor today. What's mm. up with your little uh, sailor shirt? I'm you pissed got? off. I'm pissed off at Frank Gore. Forget about my shirt. Yeah. Well, I got inside this bit, it. This, this bitch said he was coming to Philly. He's gonna play for the Eagles. Gonna play for Chip Kelly. Gonna be part of the brotherly love, the city of brotherly love. And this son of a bitch turns coat on us and goes to the fucking Colts. We don't want your bitch ass in South Philly and, anyway. Oh, I can't wait till we play the Colts. We're gonna whoop your fucking ass. Calm down and fuck Philly. I'm pissed off. What? Calm down. It's all about the money, man. You can't be mad at him because he doesn't want to come to your fucking team. Come on, the money was the same, homie. Damn, homie. He said he wants to go play with Luck and the Colts. He's got a better chance of going to the Super Bowl. He does. Get out. Get off my nuts. We don't want your ass in South Philly anyway. I'm speaking for everyone in South Philly God. at this point. My God. Listen, guys, sorry about that. Big Skipper going crazy. Sidekick, VIP Sports Podcast. Another day, another dollar. See you, Frank. You need my, a hug? Are you all right? Are you going to be I, all right? I'm just irritated. I don't like when somebody makes a commitment and turns their back on me. Well, now you know how I feel when you're supposed to be here at Saturday at 7 and you show up at 1. <laughs> I, you I, don't give a fuck, so. I get more done. I get, uh -huh. I get more done from 1 to 4 than most people get done all fucking day. You ain't fucking lying.